Now let us start the exercise number 6.3, question number 1. In the given figure, sides QP and RQ are of a triangle PQR produced to point S and T. Here the side RQ is produced to P and QP is produced to S. And if the angle SPR is equal to 135 degree and angle PQT is and equals to 110 degree, we have to find this angle that is the angle PRQ. Now what we will do is first these two angles, these two angles they are forming a linear pair. So write down the angle SPR plus angle QPR is equal to 180 degree and the reason is linear pair. Linear pair. So angle SPR is 135 degree plus angle QPR is equal to 180. So angle QPR is equal to 180 minus 135 and that is equal to 180 minus 30, 135 is equal to 45 degree. Now we got the answer, this answer as 45 degree, 45 degree. Now these two angles are also in linear pair, angle PQT and angle PQR. Also angle PQT plus angle PQR that is equals to 180 degree. Again the reason is same, that is the linear pair. Now angle PQT is 110 degree plus angle PQR is equals to 180. So angle PQR is equals to 180 minus 110. So 180 minus 110 that will be equals to that will be equals to 70 degree. Now we got this answer that is 70 degree. Now we can use the property that or you can use the theorem that sum of all the angles of a triangle is 180 degree. So we will take the triangle PQR PQR so that will be angle PQR plus angle QPR plus angle PRQ is equal to 180 degree and the reason is the sum of all the angles of a triangle is 180 degree. Angle PQR we have calculated that is 70 degree. Angle QPR we have calculated that is 45 degree. And angle PRQ we have to calculate is equals to 180. So that is 70 plus 45 that will make it 115 degree plus angle PRQ is equals to 180. So angle PRQ will be equals to 180 minus 115. So when we solve this, we will get the answer 65 degrees. So the value of angle PRQ is 65 degree. Now let us solve the second question of exercise number 6.3. In the given figure, angle X is equal to 62 degree. Angle XYZ is equal to 54 degree. YO and ZO are the bisector of angles XYZ and XZY respectively. Then we have to find the angle OZY, this angle we have to find, this angle and YOZ, this angle, this angle and this angle we have to find. Okay, now see in this question, first we will take the triangle XYZ and in the triangle XYZ, angle X plus angle XYZ plus angle XZY is equal to 180 degree. The reason we know that sum of all the angles of a triangle is 180 degree. Angle X is 62 degree. Angle XYZ is 54 degree. Plus angle XZY is equal to 180. When we will add this, we will get the answer 116 degree. Plus XZY is equal to 180. So angle XZY is equal to 180 minus 116 and that is equal to 64 degree. So we got the answer 64 degree. This angle x z y is 64 degree. Now in this it is given that y o and z o are the bisectors of the angle. Now if we take y o is the bisector of the angle these two angles will be equal. So therefore the angle o z y o so o y z because y o is the bisector of this angle x y z so these two angles will be equal so angle o y z will be half of the angle x y z will be half of the angle x y z so
so it is equals to half x y z is how much that is 54 degree so half of 54 degree is 27 degree similarly it is given that z o is the bisector of angle x z y therefore the angle o z y is equals to half of which angle x z y because these two angles are equal so this o z y will be half of angle x z y x z y so it is half of and x z y is how much that we have calculated that is 64 degree so when we will solve this this will become 32 degree now we will take the smaller triangle that is the triangle y o z and in the y o z we have three angles and their sum will be equals to 180 degree so we write the angle first is o y z the second angle is o z y and third angle is y o z and their sum will be equals to 180 degree as we know that sum of all the angles of a triangle is 180 degree o y z is 27 degree o z y is 32 degree and angle y o z is equals to 180 degree so we'll add this will become 59 degree plus angle y o z is equals to 180 so angle y o z 59 degree i'll shift that side it will become minus 180 minus 59 and when we will solve this we will get the angle 121 degree so angle o z y o z y we have calculated that is 32 degree and angle y o z this angle is 121 degree